What's up guys, Ramen King here, back on another episode of Tales of Asperia. Last episode, we ran away from the capital. Again. And Yuri just put Rago in his place. Because he had to go and face his fears, I guess. I don't fucking know. Anyways, I have no idea where I'm going. So, that's a, that's a plus. Like, I legitimately have no idea where I'm going. I mean, I already dropped it once I started recording, so either way, and plus, I have a thing called editing. <laughs> Anyhow, let's see. Where the fuck am I supposed to go again? I think I have to go through here again. Oh, uh, yeah, by the way, Therian, I did try out uh, Fling. Yeah, he does feel like Yuri quite a bit. That's right. Okay, I gotta change this, cause this is getting annoying. Nearby enemies, different enemies... Different enemy. Straight, they're... Bouncing? What are you looking at? <laughs> I wish I could bounce. <laughs> Collapsed from the monster's attack. I wonder if Dongrest is all right. It seems that some people were injured too. The place was crawling with knights. I think they can handle things from here. Plus, the Dons and Dongrest and all the guild members are really tough. Flynn would catch us if we went back now, and that'd be the end of your travels. You're right. I'll put my trust in the Imperial Knights and the guilds. I decided I'm going with you, and that's what I'm gonna do. Oh wow, I still actually have using some kind of character. Hmm. Weird. I can't get over here? Ah, here we go. Heliorg. Oh my. Doesn't the city seem less busy than before? Yeah, this place has gotten a lot more ghost towny. Now that you mention it. Maybe. Huh? What's wrong? In Dongrest, I heard that the construction work here is so brutal that tons of people have been fleeing. I tried fighting him and I got my ass kicked. And then I tried doing it off screen and I still got my ass kicked. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, though. Huh, interesting. And I tried fighting him she for like two hours. About it. What do you mean? You can see it on her face. If that's the case, we should go to the inn and have a strategy meeting first. And Grant George's voice has actually kind of grown on me at this point. Like, him and Judy's, whoever is the new VA for her in some of these scenes. I don't mind it as much, really, which is the funny part. Like, it's annoying. I don't mind your age, only Judy. After all... We need to go check on the Blastia, too. Yeah, and it's not like Estelle can just let things go. You can't just ignore people's problems, can you? I know, I know. So then, let's go! To the inn! He sure is getting into it. He's so happy that he was able to start a guild with Yuri. Hey, it's not like I did this just for Carol's sake. But you care about his feelings, don't you? Yeah, well, come on, we should hurry to the end. And their voices are fine. Although, yeah, Judy's is a little We off. picked a name, made laws, got our first job. We're a pretty respectable guild now. But are three members really respectable? Why not? The Dark Wings, the famous Thieves Guild, they only have three members too. Quality over quantity. 
Too many people get to be a headache. I prefer a small group. But you can't follow in the Dawn's footsteps and defend Dongrist without a few more bodies. Yeah, I guess. But if we just put one foot in front of the other, I know we'll be big someday. So then you're saying we can take it easy? No way! We gotta give this guild 110%! Ha ha ha! Aye aye, Captain. I guess I can't let things go either. Wait, am I even going the right way? Probably not. Using Patty is hard to explain in this game. Yeah, I can figure. Late night stroll? The scenery here reminds me of home. Huh. Your home must be in a pretty place then. I just mean that it's up high like this and has a good view. Not that I have a problem with heights. <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't, riding around on that monster. His name is Ba'ul, and he's not a monster. And it's not only because he can fly. We've been together ever since he saved me during the war. War? You mean between the Empire and the Guilds? This world always seems to be ravaged by some war or another. Yeah, I guess so. It was you who attacked Estelle here earlier, wasn't it? You're pretty sharp if you were able to tell who it was I was after. I'm just that kind of guy. Pharaoh also appeared because of Estelle. Is there some connection between them, between him and your partner? It's hard to explain. But you won't deny it, that you would come for her. I'm afraid I'm not very good at lying. All right, I won't ask any more questions. But if it looks like you're going after her again... You needn't worry. I won't be doing that sort of thing anymore. You have my word. You mean it? What can I say that will make you believe me? Well, you said you were no good at telling lies. It's not like we're all that different. I've got a few skeletons in my closet, too. He's a strange one. She has four normal advanced springs. Well, hmm. shall we have a look around the town? We also need to have a look at the Blastia that went berserk last time. Now that we have a goal and a destination, I'm so excited about continuing our journey. This is a lot bigger than when we were just escaping the capital and chasing after Flynn. We're out to find a mysterious talking monster. And to get over to Desier, we'll need to cross the sea again. I think the sands of Kagor will be a hot and harsh environment too. Still, I can't help but be excited that I get to continue my journey. New landscapes we've never seen are waiting for us just past the horizon. Well, just don't forget what we're out here for. I know. Estelle, you forget pretty damn quickly, so... It seems like the area has returned to normal. Yeah, doesn't look like it's gone berserk since then. Hey, it's those guys we met at Nor Harbor. Miss Estelle! How 
have you been? Who is this? We helped these people out at Nor Harbor. We can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. All right, take it easy, Andy. Where's your father? I haven't seen Teagle, my husband, for the past three days. Sounds like that rumor might be true. Don't you have any hunches? Yes. The night before he disappeared, he talked again about working to become a noble. Become a noble? What do you mean? When this city is finally completed, we will be able to live here as members of the nobility. Huh? That doesn't sound quite right. What do you mean? The rank of nobility is reserved for those whose service has earned the Emperor's confidence. But Sir Q Moore gave his word to us. He said we would be welcomed as nobles. Mm. Q Moore? From the Imperial Knights? Yes. He is acting as the current magistrate of the city. I'll bet he is. That is strange, though. I mean, the Imperial Throne is empty and all. But then... then why on earth have we been working this hard? And what about Teagle? Is father not coming back? Uh, sorry kid, you're gonna have to go down the same route I did. Your dad probably ain't gonna come back for a few years. Child support's gonna be a pain. You're gonna start resenting some of your family members. Become the Kalkage. You know, the usual. Hey, Yuri. You're going to ask me why we don't take this on as a guild, right? I promise to take care of her fee when I pay my own. You know that fee is going to be huge, right? Well, okay, that's fine. What? But I... So this means our next job is finding a missing person. And if Q Moore is up to his usual stunts, we'll just have to slap him around till he stops. Right. The knights do exist for the protection of the people, after all. Let's just make sure we're careful. The knights could squash a little guild like us if we get on their bad side. As you wish. We'll find your father, I promise. Just wait right here. Well, that's that. We'll take the job. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, let's go find him. There's something very suspicious about that area over there. Yeah, even more so because it's marked off limits. I wonder if there's some way we could get in. Careful, guys! Remember? Careful! Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Seriously, when do we get Rita back? I want Rita. I'd like to pass if I could. Sorry, no can do, buddy. The laborer's camp ahead is too dangerous. <laughs> Thank goodness. Knowing you, Yuri, I thought for sure you'd try to force your way through. Well, proceed with caution and all that. Boss's orders, you know. But how should we get by the guards? Beat his ass. I really think forcing our way through would be the simplest and most effective way in. No, I won't allow it. All we need to do is draw the guard away from his post. But how will we do that? Yeah, somebody else followed. Sonic Wee, thank you for the follow, my guy. Maybe by, you know, seducing him with feminine <laughs> wiles. <laughs> Yo, what feminine wiles does Estelle have, my guy? Well then. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna let chat choose this. Who do y'all think we should send? Who should we send? <laughs> so, 
<laughs> Yo, we got three votes for Carol, one vote for Judith. Yo. Let's go. Carol should be good for the job. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? That sounds good to me. <laughs> so you're in on the joke too, Judith? No, I'm not really one for jokes. Huh? Okay, let's go. You gotta believe in yourself, Carol. You just gotta believe! When a lady struts her stuff, she does it with pizzazz. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, there's still time, you guys. How about someone else seduce the guard? When a man makes up his mind, he's got to see it through to the end. And this is a guild job as well. Don't forget, all for the guild. Oh, that is so twisting the guild's laws. Carol, you'll be fine. You'll be the cutest little thing that night has ever seen. Being the cutest anything has never been one of my life goals. Do you have a dress for a girl that will make her look extremely cute? Extremely cute? Like something for a date? Yeah, that's right. So? Let's see. Um, you're a boy, am I right? Well, I don't look like a girl, do I? Ah, uh, well, uh, wait. Why are you getting mad at me? Anyway, I don't carry any clothing for young girls. He says he doesn't have anything. Too bad. Ah, uh, hold on. Huh? If you brought me a soft tail, basilisk scale, and a small bird feather, I could make you something nice. You should be able to get all of the items from the monsters on the outskirts of the city. All right, let's go. Do we really have to do all this? Captain Carroll, you wouldn't have us abandon your plan, would you? No. I mean, of course not. But uh, if only Rita were here right now. I mean, <laughs> we're not going to get Rita for a minute. Oh, you've brought the items. Funny how I still have all these Wait items. While I make you something nice. All is ready. Let's go. Hey, are you seriously going out in that outfit? Huh? Something wrong with this? <laughs> well, I could see uh, never mind that. <laughs> Carol, the newest trap in the group. Oh my god. It's very cute, and I have a feeling that this is gonna work. Excuse me. Get closer to him. But, but, this is so... Be brave, Carol. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Mr. Knight. Huh? You talking to me? Y yes. Could you come over here? I can't find my doggy. Uh, no, I can't leave my post unattended. Oh my god, this is actually working. But... but... I'm sorry, please don't cry like that. Oh, alright. I can make some time for your sake. Oh, I'm so happy. Now please come closer. Oh my god. And as I predicted, it came to blows in the end anyway. We couldn't really ask you to go all the way with it. Yo, no, we are... <laughs> what are you talking about? 
Never mind. Yo, they were, they were about to give away this man's ass. <laughs> Yo. Yo, <are> wrong. <laughs> oh, they they about to make your man, make your dude. Mm. I seen enough hand tight to know where that was going. Change your clothes and go leave that costume at the shop. Uh, okay. <sighs> Oh my god, that's... Alright, <sighs> on to the next step. Huh? It should be easier to go in if you dress like a knight. Who, me? Carol would work just as well. What? Again? Yeah, maybe you're right. Now I'll go I in. I'll have to do it. But really, a knight of all things? Oh well, if this helps us fool them, all the better. Hey! Quit goofing off over there. Huh? What's the matter? You should get back to your post before things get even more out of hand. What do you mean, out of hand? The mage we captured is running wild. Hurry up! Roger. Okay, be right back. Huh? Yuri? Part with everyone. Yo. You got a lot of nerve locking me up in a dump like this. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? Get your superior out here now. Rita, what is she doing? Calm down already. I'll I'll go call him right now. Shut up. Yo, her aim was on point. Well, she hasn't changed much. Settle down, it's just me. Yuri? Uh, are you okay? Rita? Have you calmed down? Yeah. So what are you doing in a place like this? I thought I'd check out the Blastia here before investigating the air crinny. And you wound up biting off a little more than you could chew, just like always. But what was it you got involved in? They sneaked the Blastia into the labor camp at night. I mean, that's already pretty shady. Don't tell me you were sneaking around investigating it when you got caught. Of course not. I was very stealthy about it. And then you got caught. Well, I couldn't just sit around while they were trying to do something weird with the Blastia. The people here have been threatened by the Knights and are being made to work. I bet Teagle's in there, too. We cannot allow this to go on. And what about this Blastia you saw? It was a Hopelone Blastia. It looks like they're gathering them up for a war. They wouldn't. You don't think they're planning on attacking Dongrest again? But why? After they've just set up the friendship agreement. It's gotta be Qmor. There's no way he intends to keep any promises he made to the guilds. Do you know him, Yuri? You met him once, at Kerbakram. Oh, you mean the guy with the creepy voice? I don't mind discussing things here, but aren't we forgetting something? That's right! We've got to rescue Teagle and the others. Then we'll put an end to that forced labor, get rid of all the Blastia they're gathering, and... Um... You can't just get rid of Blastia. They need to be recovered and taken care of. Then we'll have the mages and Ospio come pick them up. Wait. We're being careful, right? But... One thing at a time. R right Okay. Then let's get back to our original plan and head down. Okay. Man, hold on. Before we do anything else. Also.
You know, in knight's armor, you really do look like a knight, Yuri. You're quite handsome. You're getting a compliment, you know. It wouldn't hurt to smile. I'm not really crazy about this getup. I've got bad memories of Flynn laughing his head off about how silly I looked in this. Well, I think I get how Flynn felt. <laughs> it's like somebody dressed you up. <laughs> no, not at all, Yuri. It's good because it's so different from who you are. Leave it to Yuri to be different, even in a normal suit of armor. This is why I hate this uniform. <clears throat> oh, Raman, remember when Rob was doing side quests? He said you can get locked out of. Well, you can still do them. You just locked out of things that would do with secret missions. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. That's why I have dummy files. Hide! Ah, my lord. Are you sure you shouldn't be going to the sands of Kingdom, <laughs> <now, sir? laughs> sir? Jaeger, your voice. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm back and I get my sanity. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the thing that I just find funny is that I know French and British people and they sound nothing like that. I don't have to pay attention to Alexei's orders. Using the money and weapons I have, everything will soon be within my reach. And I hope you'll remember to appreciate the work Leviathan's Claw has done for you. Yes, you will be taken care of, Jaeger. Aaron Jaeger. You'll take those weapons I sold you and attack the Union. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm afraid I have my sights set on loftier things than the Union. Ignoring the Don is a big no-no. He is a wonderful guy, yeah? <sighs> Don't go forgetting that. As a guy who can also speak a bit of German, this is aggravating. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, my granddad would kill me if he heard this. My, my. It almost sounds as if you respect the man. Respect him, I do. But Leviathan's Claw always gets the job done. Oh, such dedication. That's just what I like about you. Don't worry, though. You're looking at the future Commandant of the Imperial Knights. That fool Alexei telling me to watch the Union while he signs friendship treaties with them. Yeah, you tell him. If it were me, I'd crush them in the blink of an eye with your lovely weapons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, that guy with the weird <sighs> hair looked over here and laughed. He definitely spotted us, all right. So he thinks we're funny, does he? Man, it's always the same thing with these idiots. So now we know there's a bunch of people being kept down there. Yeah. All right, let's go free them from the idiots. All right, if we find anyone being forced to work, let's tell them to run. <laughs> What's with you? First you're panicked, now you're laughing. You're pretty moody yourself, Rita. You're not really one to talk, Carol. Just shut up. <laughs> I'm so glad we found you here. I mean, I gave up going back to the capital, so even if you had visited me, I wouldn't have been there. Oh, how sweet, Rita. You were gonna go visit Estelle. Uh, I wouldn't go to the capital just to visit someone. I mean, I have to report my findings on the air krennic. I just thought I'd say hi or something. 
I don't know. That sounds like an excuse for a visit with Estelle to me. You stay out of this! Oh, come on. <laughs> We're all together again. Let's just be happy about that. Uh, look at all that floating. Rita is Sundere to a T, man. I used to work upstairs, and now it's forced to come down here. Cooking for the laborers, morning and night. There's no time to rest. You damn slacker. There's no time to rest. On Sora Kumar's orders, the construction must be finished within under a month. <laughs> what are you doing? What the hell? You're planning on disobeying too? You know, I've never been good with taking orders. Sorry if I hurt you. Din of this modest land. You're gone. Oh, sharp. Way a fun part, she never says that line. Did you come here to this town because you heard you could become nobility too? Yeah, I guess you heard the same thing. About that. Why don't we skip the small talk? Shouldn't we be shouldn't you be heading back up there? Yeah, that's right. I've gotta tell my friends I'm okay. Thank you very much. You may have spa spared him from the truth now, but he's still gonna find out sooner or later. What are you talking about? We just have to... We just don't have time for a long conversation right now. <laughs> I don't care. Not like I care anyway. Huh? Look who's here. And a group of those red eyes! Looks like Hugh Moore has become their new client. Hey, do you think that guy who talks all funny could be the Red Eyes boss? It sure looks that way from here. Get to work! No slacking off, you worms! <sighs> Look, that's... it's Teagle! If it's money you want, you'll have more than you can use. Now work! Work! Wait! Who? <gasps> Yuri Loa? What are you doing here? Uh, princess! You have no right to call yourself a knight. Brute force is not the way to honor the prestige of the Empire. Put down your weapons now. You will also release the people you have tricked into coming down here. This all might be easier if such a naive little princess were to simply disappear. All of your utopian ramblings make me sick. That's not the kind of thing someone with delusions of becoming Commandant of the Knights would say. It's you. You'll be all right now. Jaeger! Get rid of them! Yeah, my lord. Why is it always the German you guy has got to be the stereotype? Sir. Just business. Alright, come here, bitch. I'm coming after you. Hold on, what level are you? God. Eh, third, that's fine. All right, come here.
Motherfucker. Alright. The oh, f- This man just shoot shot me in the air! Someone protect me while I'm casting! Alright, I'm on it! Let's go. Sit your ass down. A caprice of innocent waters. I, I can't take much more. Who cares? How could the Empire cover for such evil? We can't just let it go. You should dry off first. Wait, I thought I had to set the hard. I must admit, you're very strong. Sir Kumor, it's the Flynn Brigade! Flynn? Well, send him away! We tried, but he insists on coming down to perform an inspection. That lower quarter lout, he simply has no tact. Gosh, Dwight. Yes, Jaeger. Oh, these this two. This is our time to shine! I think we better be making with the escape, yeah? Ah! What is this? Please step this way. I could have sworn I changed it to hard. Move, move! Time to get a move on! We'll get you next time. What an original line. If we don't follow them, they'll. Wait! Our job is to rescue Teagle! But. I don't know whose job is what, but are we following them or not? Everyone freeze! That's enough! Hey, just in time. Yuri! Can you get up? I yes. <laughs> Sorry, but it looks like something's come up. You'll have to head back by yourself. Say hi to the wife and kid for us. I will. So we are going after them. Yeah, I'm sure Flynn has things under control here. Sound good, Carol? Yeah. Plus, I think Estelle's gonna take off after him any minute. Sorry. Jeez, we're going after them, right? So let's get going. All right. Yuri, wait! Gotta run, Flynn! Lady Estelise, this journey is far too dangerous for... <sighs> I forgot why he's so hellbent. I don't remember why he was. Alright, let me take a look at this. Okay, now I'm a little upset by that. I wonder why my bag works so well when I hit enemies with it. Huh? You don't know how your own bag works? Yeah, not really. Surely the bag just has a high level of air conductance. Air conductance? It's a measure of how easily something carries air. The air produced when you use strike arts must be easily conducted through that bag. So that's why enemies get weaker when I hit them with my bag? Exactly. It's the same as with my belt. Different people have different items that carry air for them more easily. Wow, interesting. Thanks, Rita. You sure don't know much about your own possessions. I guess I better take good care of my bag. There's no sign of them. Looks like they ended up getting away. Where are we anyway? A forest in central Tobikia. If I'm right, Torum Harbor is east of here. We should probably just get to the harbor rather than going back to Heliord. What? But what about Q Moore? Do we just let him go? I thought the purpose of your journey was to find Pharaoh. Well, I... I wasn't aware Brave Vesperia was formed to follow your random whims. I I'm sorry. That was never my intention. Oh, she's just telling you to relax. Besides, Flynn's on the scene, right? You can be sure he'll take care of things. Hey, Pharaoh? Brave Vesperia? Start explaining. Just about to ask the same questions myself. God damn it, Raven. Huh? What the? What's wrong, Miss Genius Mage? Forget me already. It's me, Raven the Great. Who the hell do you? I told you, Raven the Great. Man, you're a scary little kid, you know that? So, what are you up to? With all the stuff you've been doing, poor Raven got sent all the way out here to keep an eye on you. 
Why would they do that? First things first. Let's go find an inn at Torum Harbor. I'll tell you everything there. Raven's pretty hungry, you see. I suppose there's no point in hanging around here. Torum Harbor is a good first step. Torum Harbor, then. Would that be all right? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I did. Okay, let's go. Honestly, t Judy being Judy was being real with Estelle because that's one of the issues Estelle kind of has is that it seems more like she's stringing everybody along with her I'm whims. I'm so hungry. I'm dying here. Already? The girls look like they're doing fine. Was that Estelle? Listen, her stomach's rumbling too. I can wait, though it's been a little difficult. Hmm? That sounded like it came from Rita. Judy, you too? Are you trying to see who can hold out the longest? Perhaps a diet is a little bit like a competition in holding out. A diet? What do you need a diet for? Especially you, Rita. Lose any more weight and you'll... I'm just waiting until I finish reading this book, okay? Oh my god. You know, I'm actually curious of commissioning somebody to actually draw me in a kind of the Vesperia art style. I just need to find somebody who can actually do that. I know we haven't been gone for long, but I have to say, it still feels good to be back. Can I get you pansy some tissues, or can we go to the inn now? I'm so hungry! All right, all right. Ramen didn't cook and thus this... Oh! That actually happens? Okay, I just don't cook in this game as often, but alright, give me a sec. Wait, a jelly bite? What? Well, th yeah, I had a feeling. Good thing is I don't cook that often in this game, so... So even the Union can't sit still when it knows a Princess of the Empire is out on the loose. Then the Dawn knows that I'm a candidate for the Imperial Throne, too. Yep. That's why he told me to come keep an eye on you. So you're here to observe her? That's kind of creepy. Really? What? Is it just me? Anyway, here I finally catch up with you, and I wind up sticking my foot in that mess back there. It hasn't been easy for old Raven. But why worry so much about Estelle? It's only natural considering the state of things between the Empire and the Union. Each side is trying to feel the other out. The Dawn just wants to keep track of their movements. So, you're all planning on looking for this pharaoh by going to the sands of Kogor? Yes. Do you know what sort of place a desert is? Well, it's hot and dry, and they've got a lot of sand there. That's putting it lightly. It's not as easy as all that, though. Our plan is to get to the area together first. And then? Then I guess we'll go around and ask where Pharaoh is. I don't even know where to begin commenting on that plan. So it's not just that you don't want to go back to the castle anymore, right? Um... It'd be easier on Old Raven if you did, though. I'm just saying. No. I'm sorry, but I have to know the truth behind Pharaoh's words. Huh. Well, the Desier continent actually suits me just fine. Why is that? I've got to go to Nordopolica for another errand I'm running for the Don. Have to deliver a letter to Bellius. Whoa, that's pretty important. That's the boss of the Colosseum and ruler of Nordopolica, isn't it? Technically speaking, he's called the Duce. Do you know what's written in the letter? Hmm. It's got something to do with those monsters that attacked Dongrist. In particular, about that pharaoh chap you all are following. The Don thinks Bellius will know something about that monster. Looks like it just became worth our while to pay this Bellius a visit, too. Right. So if you don't mind, Raven here will just tag along with you. That's fine, but you'll have to follow the laws of Brave Vesperia. Got it. It's not like I can go join in your guild, you know? You understand. Why can't you join Brave Vesperia? It's against the rules for anybody to be in two guilds at the same time. And I guess, technically speaking, you are a member of Altosk. What do you mean, technically? So are we done? 
I'm gonna go get some rest then. Okay. What? What do you think Rita's gonna do? Probably follow. Hmm. What indeed? Does this mean we're on our own until we leave tomorrow? Yeah. We'll all meet down at the harbor then. <laughs>